Your state is special, just like every other state. Learn more about what Indiana has to offer before spending your hard-won cash playing slots. Indiana has 14 commercial casinos, two of which are proposed casinos, as well as one tribal casino. The minimum legal gambling age in Indiana depends upon the gambling activity. For casinos, poker rooms, and bingo, it's 21. For the lottery and paramutual racing, it's 18. Indiana's 1851 Constitution banned lotteries historically interpreted by courts to mean all gambling. In 1988, Indiana approved a constitutional amendment removing this ban. Within months, cities with economic difficulties had casino proposals, including 10 riverboat casinos. In 2007, Indiana allowed horse tracks to have as many as 2,000 electronic gaming machines. Further, the state legislature approved land-based casinos in 2015 and allowed riverboat casinos to move into a land-based casino facility if located on their current property. The state of Indiana has a federally recognized American Indian tribe. In 2015, the Pokagon Band of Potawatomi Indians successfully negotiated a tribal state compact subsequently approved by the U.S. Department of Interior. By the compact's terms, the tribal casino could only have Class II bingo-style gaming machines. In 2018, the tribe opened a casino in South Bend. It is legal to own a slot machine privately in Indiana if it is 40 years old or older. The Indiana Gaming Commission, IGC, regulates gaming in Indiana. The IGC has its gaming control division as a law enforcement arm with a primary role to investigate illegal gambling. Enforcement of illegal gambling at bars and taverns is by the Indiana Alcohol and Tobacco Commission. Indiana's two other gaming commissions regulate the Hoosier Lottery and Indiana Horse Racing. Indiana has 14 commercial casinos, including two proposed casinos and one tribal casino. In this map, I show the location of each land-based casino. The largest is Horseshoe Hammond. The second largest is Hollywood Casino Lawrenceburg. Indiana has no theoretical payout limits. However, monthly return statistics are publicly available for commercial casinos. For deep Details on return statistics, see my Indiana Slots Return to Player video. Neither theoretical payout or return statistics are available for Indiana's tribal casino. The IGC offers comprehensive annual reports on all aspects of legal gaming in Indiana but you can track your personal return to player with Slots Gambling Records. To learn how, I highly recommend this video on keeping Slots Gambling Records for the IRS, but also straightforward gameplay analysis. You'll be amazed how easy and helpful they are.